So I haven't posted in a long time, but that's going to be changing because I am completely done with school. I'm completely done with university, or I guess it's technically college, but it was a degree that I was doing for illustration and I'm completely done with that. Um, it's been four years of school and I don't think I'm going to like, I don't know if I should do a video about it. I'm not sure because I've kind of already talked about school a lot and I'm just honestly ready to move on to other things and other projects that I want to do. And I'm just, I'm really excited for the future of my channel and my store and Patreon and my art and pro projects that I want to do. Um, so I'm, this is going to be sort of like a podcast type of thing. Um, but I'm doing a painting. It's starting off though with some warm-ups in my sketchbook, um, because I can't really paint anything until I warm up. And that usually consists of just like doodling, little things all over the page until something kind of strikes an idea. So for this, I was working on my Patreon print for May and it's a little, um, it's a little later than I wanted it to be because of school and just like coming off of school, it's hard to like reprogram your brain to, to be in work mode. And I've just been trying to take it easy and not burn myself out because I did a lot of there was like a big final push at the end for me to finish everything and get everything ready for my um, grad show where all our art is going to be shown. And it was a lot of drawing and a lot of focusing and I, I've just been taking it easy and playing games and um, getting work done when I need to. And so so um, the the painting that I'm doing in this video is for Patreon. And my Patreon page is going to, the rewards are going to be changing a little bit in the next few months because I'm changing one of the rewards to um, one of the projects I did in school, which was trading cards for the weather, but different little monsters inspired by weather patterns and weather phenomena, um, such as like solar eclipse, meteor shower, freezing rain, snow, cloud formations, tornadoes, um, hurricanes, rain, just like all kinds of stuff like that. Each card will be a different monster that's inspired by the weather and all the backs are like color coded to to mean um, if it's like a certain type of card. I'm not going to get into it now because they're not ready to, to be printed and to actually be offered as a reward. Uh, uh, the rewards are still the same as they have been for a while. But I'm going to be revamping all that and changing everything and I'm really excited for what my Patreon will be and most importantly, YouTube. Um, YouTube is my like main thing. It's where it's where people f have found me and then how they found my other platforms. So I know I have kind of abandoned YouTube over the past year, a combination of being very busy with school and 2020 being a hard year, but it's 2021, I've graduated. Um, I'm pretty much graduated. Yeah, I'm done with all my schoolwork. It's so weird. I'm never going to be in school again. I still haven't wrapped my mind around that, but I'm just coming off of that and um, finishing up, tying up loose ends for the next Patreon month. And I have, uh, this is this is one video I'm working on. I have another video in the works and I want to start posting regularly again. Um, but I'm going to have to see how my stamina is and just like, I don't want to push myself too hard and like get burnt out and I'm trying to be very, very, um, like, gentle with myself with things as I get into my new sort of routine because I did a lot of work. I'm trying to give myself a bit of a break. Um, and I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna be showing you all my schoolwork probably, uh, especially if you go on Instagram, I'm gonna be posting everything there. Um, gel arts, same username, instagram.com slash gel arts. Uh, if I'm unactive on YouTube, I'm usually active on Instagram. And Patreon, I'm like, is always an ongoing thing. Um, so the actual print I'm doing, you can see I'm starting to sort of get into sketching the subject of it, which is a fox. I wanted to do something very, very comforting for me to draw, a comfort drawing where I could just experiment with media and just do whatever I felt like drawing, because that's my favorite kind of thing to do. And I'm trying to, you know, be gentle with myself and like, what do I actually want to draw? What is something that will bring me joy to draw? And um, I, I figured out I wanted to do a fox in like a big grassy field. I've been wanting to do a grassy field 
illustration. Like, I know that grass is so easy to draw, but I just wanted to do something colorful and fun, and you'll see how it turns out. It was kind of a struggle. It wasn't really a struggle. It was a process to get there because whenever I do watercolor, it always looks really messy and unfinished in the beginning, and it lacks contrast, and you're like, is this even going to like pull together? What is this? This looks bad. And then you start to add outlines and highlights and clean things up, and it starts to look pretty good. And um, I scanned it and brought it into my iPad. But for now, I'm doing thumbnails, uh, trying to figure out what I wanted it to look like. I, I kind of took my time with this. I filmed it over the course of a couple days. Um, I'm still not really sure what kinds of videos I want to make. I'm just going to do whatever I, uh, I happen to be working on at the time during that week and just kind of film stuff and just show you what I'm doing. I'm also going to be updating my shop soon and... Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a schedule that works for me um, every day because I think uh, my shop is something that I really want to do and I have some projects that I want to print. Eventually, there's these like two little books that I want to print. Um, one of them is, is a project I've been doing for school. I want to print that book. It's just like a little zine. And then the other one will be all my journal pages put together in a book, but that's going to take some editing and I want to draw some stuff to fill the gaps and maybe have some pages of text that sort of expand on things, but text is such a hassle to work with because I'm always worried that um, there'll be like typos and like I have to be my own editor and yeah, but er everything I'm going to do is just going to be like self-published, I think, unless opportunities come up, but who knows? I'm at the very beginning of the rest of my like illustration career journey. Um, So yeah, bear with me if videos are like a little sporadic or I don't know. I'm just going to see what happens. Um, it's kind of nice to film after not doing it for so long and not like pr pressuring myself too hard for like strict deadlines and stuff. But um, it's good to be back. I think I did post a couple during my break, but if you look at my channel, there's a clear moment where I dropped off. So I hope um, people actually see this video, but that's all right. I will it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I just want to get back into the routine and show you stuff. So for this one, um, ah, I still don't really know how I feel about traditional art. Like it's really fun, but there just comes a point where I get tired of all the, all the mess and the materials all around my desk. And like, I think it's just a space issue. I don't have enough space. Um, any task I do just takes up so much room and I have to put everything away before I can do another thing. And it gets really hectic and chaotic and I, I just need more space, but that's another chapter that will come later when I actually like get more space to do things. Um, for now, just going to keep uh, trying to make art and I'm excited to practice. I, I've been using my sketchbook more. There's actually a lot of like videos coming. Um, this one, I have a sketchbox video. I'm going to be discontinuing sketchbox, but like, I don't know why I'm finding it so hard to like actually cancel it, but um. I'm not paying though, like it, they're, they're sending it to me like um, f to like f do videos on the boxes and I filmed like three boxes all in one video and I just need to draw with them and then that's a video. There's going to be a sketchbook tour. Um, yeah, it's just kind of exciting to be back. I have like a much better setup and my computer's really fast now and yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm also just excited about art and using my sketchbook more because I abandoned it this um, year. I totally stopped sketching. I just focused on assignments and projects and I barely did any exploration or personal growth. Like, like I, I barely did any studies and I, I'm feeling pretty rusty with certain things. So I'm excited to just like take moments in my day to just practice drawing and um, maybe film some of it just like the moments in my day where I just do art, I'll just like turn the camera on and just show you what I'm doing. Or some days I won't, or I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of I don't knows, but there's also a lot of things that I'm going to be doing. And yeah, there, I, don't, I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but for this drawing specifically, I wanted, I knew I wanted to do watercolor, but I wanted to make it kind of like an underpainting sort of thing. So it's not too tight. So I started with my favorite pencil, which is the terracotta it's the Prismacolor Color Race terracotta, in Terracotta. Um, I just really like that color. It's a very firm lead. Um, I have a lot of these pencils. I think I, I bought like 
I bought a lot of extra ones um, to use because I know that I go through them quickly because I always use them to line stuff. And I wanted this to be very line art heavy, but I, I just didn't have the, um, the, de the determination to like really make this what I wanted because it's just like a small postcard. The details are going to get lost and, um, it's not like a, like a big portfolio piece I was doing. It's just like an illustration for a Patreon postcard. So they're supposed to be kind of fun and looser and like if I dial in too much with details, I end up ruining things. So I, I'm learning to restrain myself, but I really want to do like a pencil crayon heavy piece. And maybe I'll do some experimentation in my sketchbook with that. I'm just really excited to draw and not like, not have to do it for assignments and to do it for my own projects and maybe even clients. And I'm, I'm just excited uh, to use my sketchbook and just to get back into everything that I actually want to spend my time doing. And don't get me wrong, school was good. Like, of course, there's aspects of school that you don't like, like electives that you have to take and classes that you don't really want to be doing because it's not really your area of focus and you'd rather, like, expend your time elsewhere. But overall, school was good. I learned a lot. It was a really positive experience overall. So yeah, school, like, I think I learned a lot in school. Okay, I don't think. I definitely learned a lot in school and I think it's only the beginning of what I'm going to learn because like, you know, I have, I'm still really young. I have like my whole um, artist journey ahead of me and I'm excited to see where it goes because I'm, I'm finding myself sort of getting closer to what I want my art to look like. Um, and I think it's always like that. I don't think you ever really get there. And that's what's exciting because you're always like experimenting and trying to find exactly what it is you want to do and then every once in a while you'll draw something where you're like this is it this is like exactly what I was going for and yeah what when you do art for assignments it's a little bit soul sucking after a while because you're just like it's like a chore you know it's like a job you're just doing it over and over and of course like art is my job and usually like like 80 percent of the time it's just like work I, I just have to like kind of make myself do it um, but then, you know, your end result, if it turns out well, you're like, yeah, this was all worth it and I'm excited to draw again eventually. But, like, after painting this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need a break from painting. Like, I'm so, I'm so out of practice with traditional because I've just been doing digital for the last few months because it's just easier and I love digital. But you can't really film digital for YouTube. It's just not as interesting, but I can film my sketchbook and that's always traditional and I love my sketchbook. Um, I want to get back into it, but I've, I've never like, I've never been one to do really, really nice sketchbook pages. I've always used my sketchbook as like a, like a dumping zone for just anything. And I think that's what's cool because some people only show their like really, really good art and that's fine. Like you don't have to show your bad art. <laughs> like I don't expect anyone to, but my sketchbooks, I just like show anything and like sometimes it looks quite bad. But that's all part of the process because it's not realistic for everything you do to be good. Um, because you're not really, like, trying to make it look good in a sketchbook. You're trying to figure stuff out. So, yeah, those are my thoughts about sketchbooks, I guess. But right now, I'm just excited for the future and for my projects, mostly. And YouTube will just be where I just draw and share my thoughts about stuff. And if you like it, you can listen. So like I said, this print is available on Patreon for the month of May, but it's a little bit short notice because you have to pledge to the uh, like postcard tier, the highest tier, before April ends, so before May 1st. If you want to get this print, um, there's another print and stickers that are only available on Patreon and for patrons. So if you do want this, um, it will be there. It's, it's uh, A6 size, so it's going to be shrunk down and printed nice. And eventually I will have trading cards available for Patreon, but I will let you know when that happens. I'm very excited to have like actual like collectible sets. And if you can get in on the first one, then you'll be able to collect all of them if that's something you want to do. But obviously I don't expect, I don't expect anybody to join Patreon. It's just, you know, a little bonus if you want to. It's there. Um, but honestly, just like watching my videos and any, any form of support is like enough. You don't have to go on Patreon. And, um, yeah, I like to keep Patreon sort of limited to, like, extra, extra sketches, um, 
There's a podcast, physical rewards, sketchbook pages, project updates, and then all the videos stay on YouTube because I don't really do bonus videos on Patreon. I've never done that. I just want all my videos to stay on YouTube for everyone to see. And then Patreon's the extra stuff. And then when I finished painting this, I scanned it and brought it into my iPad, painted over it with some, I think I used the Max Pack gouache br brushes mixed with some Dina brushes and some of my own brushes that I modified the settings. And people always ask me what brushes I use and like I can't even tell you one specific thing because I use a lot of different brushes. I'm still figuring out. Um, I just use a different brush depending on what it is I want to achieve. There's no like set routine for my art. I just kind of change it a lot. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun painting this. Um, there's always like that stressful moment, like I said, where it's just watercolor and you're like, this looks bad because of the way I use it. I'm not like extremely proficient with watercolor. It's it's difficult. Watercolor is not easy. I use it more of an as an underpainting and a quick way to get like loose color down on the page. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back with another video, not in a couple months, probably in like a week or so or more. Um, but yeah, check out my Instagram and Patreon. Like I said, just if you want to see more stuff or support me further, my shop will be open eventually and I'll have more projects there. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.